It's only a little something But why does it feel like it's true something We just vibe and we just crazy, baby So hi YouTube, it's Curly's Victoria Thank you guys for subscribing to my channel I'm just gonna continue blow drying my hair I did just get out of the shower I mean, the shower I just got came from the kitchen from washing my hair in the sink I'm not gonna enter into the shower yet until it's time for me to take a bath after this nice wash um so basically i washed my hair with shea moisture's um argan and what was it mixed with argan and i can't think of what it was mixed with i have all of the shea moisture products but it smells so good i wouldn't even lie to you but that's what i washed my hair with as well as the gold series canteen i wanted to get some shampoo on the tips of my fingers and wash my scalp because i had eco styler and some other um, natural friendly products in my hair so I I don't know about you guys but before I actually do my hair like when I'm dyeing it I like to wash my hair condition it so shampoo condition even though I don't use shampoo all the time but shampoo condition and I like to blow dry my hair after I have done all of that washed it out and I like to blow dry it right now it's on a cool setting because I was trying to not use excessive heat I'm not certain by the end of this video how I'm going to style my hair. However, I wanted to straighten it just so that I can see if I needed to have it cut before I go back into my sew-ins in a couple weeks. Or, um, I don't know, who knows what style I'll end up in. Maybe I'll feel like not straightening my hair up into this video and we'll end up in another style. Anyway, however it goes, you guys will be able to see that at the end of the video, so keep watching. So this is the Dark and Lovely that I'm gonna be using today, as you can tell by the title. Applying this to my hair, Fade Resistant jet black 371 dark and lovely um i have on my jacket which is like an oversized coat that i love to wear when i'm doing my hair dyes because i can take it off it's usually user friendly when it comes to taking off your clothing to take a shower after you have dyed your hair if you put on a tank top or something it's going to be easy to get onto that t-shirt or that tank top because it has to come over your head so i recommend something that can zip up dark so this is basically one of the three things that are in the box that's the moisture um, restorative like conditioner that you use after you do your dye. This is the cream developer that I'm going to be using from Dark and Lovely, so the second product. And the third product is just basically that color mixture that I'm going to um, pour in its entirety into the developer bottle in just one second. And that is gonna give me my ultimate look that I am going for. So now I'm opening the instructions which are packed in the box. For first time users make sure this is in the box so you can know what you need to do and then you look inside and there are a set of clear gloves on the instructions so i peel that off and sometimes they're a bit tricky to get off because they've been packed so tightly in the box inside of the directions so once you actually finally get it you got it so there we go so now i'm going to just go ahead and throw that to the side because i've done dark and lovely before so i definitely know that it's a good product but I have not yet done a review so I am now going to mix the cream developer with the color safe product that you see me entering into this bottle right now as we speak I'm just gonna let that you can see it's like a yellow tint being mixed in with the creamy developer and I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap the bottle because I wanna make sure that everything in that bottle came out. I want to make sure that I got all 497 of my dollars into that cream developer because <laughs> your girl, sis, we don't have time to play. So once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna close that. I'm going to move on to my developer cream and I'm going to close and I am going to make sure that it's tight and shake, shake, shake. And you want to keep shaking this really well because you want the concoction to mix very well. That's going to give you your dark and lovely color. So I am just making sure this is completely mixed up, you know, so that it will be ready to go when we are ready to go. So you see, I'm going to let that sit for some time so that it can develop its color. It will go from cream to black. And now we're just going to watch the time as we do this let it sit so i'm just going to brush my hair up as you guys can see right here i'm not tender headed or anything like that as i mentioned i believe earlier so i'm just going to keep brushing it so that we could get my hair to a state where it 
could um, definitely receive the dye. I'm just looking for a few rubber bands to go ahead and section my hair off. I have four or five rubber bands right there. I'm just going to section the hair off into four, really three. Well, I'm going to do it in four sections, leave one section open. Just because I want to start with that section. So as you can see, I'm just going to put the rubber band on that first section once. And I'm going to add a rubber band to the second se section once. And I'm also going to add another rubber band to the back my right your left and then leave the section open on the other side my left your right and then you can see that hair dye is darkened so now i'm going to get these stubborn gloves open very stubborn must i mention so i like to blow into the glove just to make it easier to put on these gloves are always too big for me i've tried latex before i mean I think it was non-latex because, you know, um, and the gloves still expand just because I guess the hair color chemical reaction with the latex gloves, it causes it to expand. So I have to suck it up and just use these gloves. Anyway, I finally got Stubborn 2 open, so now I'm just going to add the dye onto my hair. I'm going to just shake, 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 shake really good. Um, shake it very, very well. And then... I am going to brush that section again just to make sure there's no apparent kinks and we are going to start adding our dye. And again, my hair might look like it's not in the best condition right there, but I do have healthy hair, so not to be confused. Could it be healthier? Yes, but is it healthy? Absolutely.
So now I'm just going to wait and watch the time for this. Let it go for 20 minutes while it sits in my hair. As you guys can see, just jet black. Just showing you a little bit. Jet black. And I'm going to just let this sit on here for 20 minutes and I'll be back with my wash and blow dry. So now you guys can see I'm at the sink. Um, I have washed my first round out and I am going to start washing this out of my hair now. Um, a lot of times, like, because I've already washed my first round out, I'll just put my head right under the sink and let the hair dye just drain out. But right here, I am now washing my hair and I'm trying to get all of that nastiness out of my hair. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to do about one to two, maybe even three washes after this, you know, before styling my hair into anything such as braids or sew-ins, simply because I do not want to run the risk of it raining and then, you know, the residue or whatever you want to call it of hair dye wants to go on your shirt. I don't do that, so I try and wash my hair in between, one, because it needs to be washed before, and then two... I don't want to end up in that situation, but you guys can see the curls. As I stated, um, I am natural. I think I put this in other videos, and you can see right there. You can just see the curl pattern. Basically, I'm just now just trying to dry out this hair. I'm going to end up um, adding some conditioner just to fit in my hair, because when I wash my hair, yes, I use the avocado. I think it's avocado conditioner that they give. I use that in the end. However, you know, it's like a um, color protected. I also like to use a nice conditioner, which right here I'm about to use some blowout cream. Obviously, I have this and I've never opened it before. So I guess I'm just reading the back, trying to check it out since I've never used it before. I love the whole line, but hadn't used the blown out, the hair blowout cream before oh first time using it so i need to poke a hole i tell you these things be securely tight tightened and it's fine because i don't want any open products of course but this little thing is stubborn i'm gonna have to get a knife and cut that open and there we go I'm just going to squeeze it out of here. And now I'm going to apply this just a little bit to my hair. It is creamier, so I don't want to thicken that throughout my hair. So I have done the complete wash and condition. And I'm going to add Fantasia's as well when I get ready to straighten my hair. And that is what I am adding at the moment to my hair. As I mentioned, I'm just gonna use a little bit of that Fantasia heat protected on my hair. And to avoid this video being super long, I fast forwarded it to um, my hair being straightened out. As you guys can see, I am getting it in a straight state, not because I'm planning to wear it like this for days, even though I probably will end up throwing it in a bun after today, but simply because I am supposed to be going to go get my hair cut. And if I don't get to get in today, then I need to have it at least semi straightened. This is not straightened to perfection. This is just straightened to the point where they can actually cut because a lot of times you go to get your hair cut, they're not gonna cut it in a natural state. They're gonna want it to be straight. So with our weather being crazy, you know, humidity and rain and stuff like that, I'm assuming that my hair is probably gonna puff up before the time I get it um, cut, but this shall do. And I am just going to style it in a way that I can walk out the house and not look reckless, but also in a way that when it's time to get those ends, they can get those ends with no hesitation. I have put a lot of heat protectant in my hair. I know I'm doing a lot of passes just because I did not really take the time to go strand by strand on this blowout or the straightening. I just really took the time to get it straight enough for them to cut because nine out, because nine times out of ten after they do what they have to do I'm gonna end up washing it after the weekend's over 
been going back to the curly state and either getting braids or a sew-in in the weeks to come. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video and be sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when I post a video. It's only your love something, but why does it feel like it's true something?